hi guys welcome to my channel in this video I am going to talk about the merge customers in Oracle cloud receivables so our agenda will be introduction about the merge setup process practical example to merge two existing duplicate customers what after merge let's start by introduction what is merge or merging customers Use customer merge to consolidate any duplicate customers or transfer site use activity from a customer or site that is no longer active. After the merge completes successfully, all activity that was previously associated with the old customer or site is now associated with the new customer or site. Activity includes invoices, debit memos, commitment, credits, receipts, adjustments, and the chargebacks. The merge process also checks for records in the auto invoice interface tables. You can also retain links to external systems such as legacy and third party systems by using the Oracle trading community architecture. What is the setup process? Setup process is very important in the customer merge. You have to fully, you have, sorry, you have to follow one by one this setup process because without this setup you cannot make any merge. So let's know what is the setup process. First thing you have to assign data steward manager rule. To whatever user are going to make a merge, he must have access to this rule so let me go let me get into the application to show you how to assign rule through security console data steward manager rule let's go to oracle minimize this here i am in my oracle you can go to Tools Security Console. I already assigned, but I will show you how to assign this security. You can go to Users, search by user, you can select it. You can search here, here, Data Steward Manager for rule code I already assignable else you can search by it you can come here to edit you can go down add rule search by it it will give you data steward manager aura underscore zzh data steward manager job so this is the first step to assign this rule to the users who are going to make the merge. Let's come back to the slide. What is the second step? There is manage administrator profile values. You have to set three values. One, that set CA underscore merge underscore request site equal yes. ZO2 merge threshold level zero and zch user merge request is to have allow processing without any approval so you have go to now to manage administrator profile values to set these values again get into the application here cancel done you can go to set up under maintenance here global search from the task panel search and search by manage administrator profile value this like the same what I mentioned in the slides manage administrator profile values you can search again 
and you can put the three codes like here z c a underscore mer z c a underscore mer underscore requests site and click search go down let me click this here there is no any valuable let me request site where here the value is here because I put it before in small but this is capital sensitive text this is our profile option I came here and the boot profile level on site instead of no you will find the default is no so you change to yes then save again go to the second value for z o2 merge z c h o2 merge again search go to down i put the threshold profile value zero you will find the default value 101 so change it to zero then the third value zzh user merge requests i will user zch here search again i will put it as allow processing without any approval so this is our three profile options at manage administrator profile values from the global search so i will click cancel because i already set it before so the first step you have to assign the data steward manager rule then in manage administrator profile value you have to assign or to boot the values like yes zero and allow processing without approval then create the merge request let's get into the application go to receivables in receivables i already created two customers let me show you now go to receivables billing go to task panel manage customers i created two as a merge one and merge two if i click by merge only click search you will find two customers by merge merge one merge two and here there is one site number one two three zero three four and the merge two again only one site one two three zero three five now i'm going to merge this with this so after my merging merge two will not be available only one merge one will be there and it will be added the site of the merge two customers to merge one so whatever your master customer and what is your duplicate you have to select your master customer like this go to actions and the merge record once you click the merge record the system will ask you what is a duplicate record you will select or search by merge to click find this is our duplicate record click ok click merge there is some processes here as an optional you can select whatever you want I will not put anything I will click submit once you click submit the request ID was submitted once you take it to copy okay 
go to process scheduled tools schedule process If you search by this request ID, you will not find it. Request ID. Clear the space, search. It is not there. Don't worry about that because there is another request you have to run after you submitted the merge process. What is that? Come back here. Once you create the request merge, you have to go to setup and maintenance and run request dispatch job. So this is very very important because it will generate the merge and merge to customers. So again go to setup and maintenance. Here. Setup and maintenance. Click on global search from the task panel, search and put run request dispatch job, run request dispatch job, click again, the theme without update any value, click submit. It will give you one process. You can take it copy. Again, go to system scheduled processes. You can search here, remove the old request or process ID, put the new one, remove the space, search. It is paused. You have to click search as a refresh until the status change it from paused to running or succeeded again search now changing to running and succeeded now come back to the slide after you run the request dispatch job submitted take a note now everything is done you can return to customer data management to check the duplicate resolution requests I can and see if the merge requests are still submitted or not let me try again to search remove this search now the merge process request already succeeded If I put my here, because this is our one, succeeded. Now the process merge request also came before this, after, sorry, after duplicate requestation or resolution requests. So let me go to receivables and check the customers as a merge one and merge two, billing, receivables, billing, Manage customers, search by merge. In this case, the system will give me only one merge because the other site is merged to the merge one. So now this merge one have two account number because we merged the merge to to merge one in case of you need to search by merge to to check it again go to here manage customers search by merge to click search 
you will not find the merge tool. This is our process for how to merge. Now, what after? I hope, I hope you got now the setup is very very important because without this setup and without running this request dispatch the merge will not succeed so what after the merge this solution will result in having all the accounts from both parties visible under the master plan after that the, the secondary accounts can be indebted so the history will remain there but the account will not be usable any longer for transactions. Appreciate your comment. Thanks for watching. You can contact me through this email or put your comments. I hope to subscribe my channels. Also, I will put all of these steps in the description of the video. Thank you.